You're keeping us up to date with the, I mean, the huge amount, the, the, the shifting tectonic plates within the Conservative Party. And uh, we're seeing here, and this tells us quite a lot here, we're seeing within the Cabinet in itself that uh, a new Health Secretary has been appointed. Yes, Steve Barclay. So I think this most importantly shows that the Prime Minister is carrying on and we're seeing a sort of mini reshuffle here going on. He's now been appointed the Health Secretary who will be the next Chancellor, that remains to be seen. We've seen um, Nadim Zahawi going into number the 10. Secretary. The Education Secretary. A close ally of the Prime Minister's. And there has been, there has been speculation, um, not based on anything in particular from what I understand, that um, he could be another um, person that could potentially, one of the big names that could potentially break ranks. Um, but... He um, there is uh, he has been seen. There you go, going into number ten. Um, just just before we hit the top of the hour, um, how many junior ranks have gone? We know about the two cabinet ministers. You've been keeping a, yes, a tally. Some big names um, on the junior ranks: Jonathan Gullis one of the biggest cheerleaders for the Prime Minister. Bim Afulami, I mean, he's not a junior rank, he's vice chair of the party, but he's a sort of younger generation coming up. Nicola Richards, um, a PPS, Saki Bharti, a PPS in the Treasury, um, and some pretty extraordinary letters of resignation. Nicola Richards um, saying that the party is currently unrecognisable. So, interesting times, but, of course, the two big names, ah. the Health Secretary and the Chancellor. Certainly are interesting times. Uh, Ali, must end it there. Thank you very much indeed.